Um, though you did help us once with our ears bleeding with Stone Cold Steve Austin singing with you too, though. So, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, how fun working with him! Like literally, what, what is that like though? Because you see Steve Austin being a badass, killing people and stomping mud holes and walking them dry, and Stone Cold Steve Austin, he's out there like, ah, 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 I'm gonna sing a song ah, 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 with you. Like, I know, and you know what kind of led to that? So. Going back a little bit, what people didn't, some people don't realize is that when we'd go off the air, the shenanigans would really start and they would go for like 15, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes even more just for the arena, just for people that were in the arena, people that bought tickets. It was like their special bonus for coming and being there in person. And I don't know what exactly, I cannot remember when Steve asked me to have a beer in the ring after the show, but I had a beer and be, what he didn't know. And I was not going to tell him because I'm like, there's no way you say no to stone cold Steve Austin. No. But during the time I had been exposed to a house that had high levels of mold, I had gotten mold poisoning in my lungs. And at the time it's talked about way more. Now it is way more prevalent. People understand mold toxicity now a lot more, but at the time, Nobody knew. I didn't even know what was happening. But I found a doctor that put me on a mold-free diet. And my life changed completely. And one of the things that was on the mold-free diet was yeast. No yeast, which meant no beer. <laughs> no beer or wine. Okay. Oh. So when he asked me to go in the ring and have a beer, and I'm going, again, the tape Thinking on the fly really helped because I have to think on the fly. How am I going to take this beer and drink? Not even look like a little sip. Like that's going to look, you know, yeah. <laughs> but how do I do this and get away with it? And what came to me right then is pour it on you. Just let it go out of your mouth and just let it just pour down your shirt. Well, that amused him, got his attention. So he started bringing me into the ring after every show. And then that led to, hey, let's do this on TV. Let's find a way to get the two of you together to then celebrate. Oh, yes, it's Memorial Day. So let's get the two of you to sing America the Beautiful. Let's bring in Law Resistance, where they cut you off. It gives you know, Steve, the reason to come in and kick him out of there. And then you guys do this and then celebrate. And there you go. And it was beer after beer. And, and that's why I wore it all over myself because I was trying to stay like from not dying. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't that bad, but from getting sick. I was going to say it, 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 the, it, in your mouth a little bit, or did that affect you at all? Did you have no, any consequences? It wasn't that type of allergy. It wasn't oh, okay, okay. No, no, it's not like I, you know, I didn't need an EpiPen. <laughs> I'm like, you're putting this in your mouth. Isn't a little bit going down? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like that. But if I would have drank the whole thing, forget it. Yeah, it would have really affected me. So I started having to have like asthma inhaler to be able to, because my chest would just tighten. My lungs were so exposed to so much mold mm -hmm. and yeast being a mold um, property it would think that mold was invading. And so it would create histamines like crazy, which is what Benadryl is, right? When someone's having an allergic reaction, they give them Benadryl because Benadryl is an antihistamine. So okay. I learned a lot. So for people that don't understand allergies, what well, your your body is reacting and, and having a histamine issue. And that's what I was trying to prevent was a whole histamine issue to, yeah. <laughs> to, wow, we're learning yeah. a lot here today.